good afternoon everyone welcome to the online meeting of speakers community toastmaster club i am pleased to be your sergeant at arms for today's meeting in the online meeting environment there are few instructions that we follow i request you to rename yourselves all toastmaster can prefix pm to your name and guest can prefix guest i also request all the speakers and role holders to prefix their role to their name so that it's easy to identify them i give you 10 seconds for this activity all speakers are requested to do a quick audio and video check before they start their speech tech host will confirm on the settings i would request you not to type in the chat box when a speaker is speaking as it disturbs the speaker you can use the private chat to provide feedback you are all requested to keep your audio on mute in case you are not speaking please refrain from unnecessary movements or sipping on drinks if your video is on please turn off the video in case you need to do so do not click on share screen unless your speech or role requires you to do so you can display a high five or namaste when taking over or leaving from a role you can connect with the tech master for any technical glitch the tech master for today's meeting is toastmaster monica if you are a speaker then please ensure you pin the timer or confirm that the same is visible at all times this meeting is being recorded in case you have any reservations please let us know you can network during the break and after the meeting let me share the mission of the club we provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth i welcome the presiding officer toastmaster kalpana who is seasoned negotiator and dynamic speaker to take you through the further proceedings over to you toastmaster Thank you so much, Kishore, for that warm welcome and a huge round of applause to our Sir Toastmaster Kishore for setting up the tone of the meeting. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and it is wonderful to have you here today among us. We all, as Toastmasters, strive to learn something, you know, that can be. applicable in our day to day life and today i bring to you a small story about how we can simplify our life sometimes we complicate a lot of things what happens if you are driving and you find that your car has run out of fuel we normally either push it on one side lock the car go get the fuel or we take or ask someone to give us a lift to the petrol pump so that we can get a few get some fuel we also try to arrange first for the safety of our car so that if we are on a highway or you know in a place where we really need that safety and we ensure that we still go ahead and get a petrol or maybe take a hitch hike depending on where we are to get petrol do we stress over it if our car runs out of fuel do we stress over it no we simplify the fact that there is no fuel and we need to arrange ways and means to get fuel same way same way in our life there might come opportunities and situations and conditions where we will run out of fuel where do we run out of fuel if it is an opportunity well we run out of motivational fuel we run out of time management fuel we run out of every opportunity to grab the opportunity by perhaps compensating it with cribbing or complaining yeah i have the opportunity but you see i didn't have this i know all facilities are there in my house but i have to walk up to switch on the switch you know we crave and we complain simplify it lighten up your lighten up your life by simplifying things we can simplify things by taking simple small actions 
with this i proudly announce and i am very very thankful to none other than our toast master of the day toast master kusuma what surprised me today as i had her introduction was that she is a banker who has worked with sbi for 20 years anyone who is in finance gives me jitters <laughs> it is it's an essential part and we need to handle it very well and for that kudos to her did anyone know that along with toastmasters she is also a rotarian i mean being a rotarian is a great privilege i know what a rotarian does when it comes to social service so that shows an extension of her persona that tells us that she is into social service she loves reading and traveling cooking and of course is a great foodie too uh i have again made a mistake but i would before i hand it over to you kusuma are do we have any guests zoom master can you just help me are there any guests today yes ma'am all right hi shipanshu uh, hi welcome welcome and uh, tell us something in 30 seconds tell us something about yourself and your goal to join toastmasters thank you to toastmasters kalpana and good afternoon everyone myself dipanchu sau and i am a ca final student and i have joined uh, toastmasters uh, toastmasters to improve my communication skills as uh, i am uh, pursuing ca course so we uh, don't have any colleges like thing so uh, means we are uh, our we are great at our analytical skills but our, our communication is generally weak so that's my main reason to join thank you so much to be honest dipanjo a huge round of applause to our guest who has spoken up so boldly toastmaster actually gives you that platform and ensures that you develop that persona and move ahead in your professional life any thank more uh, guests today i can see deepak entering uh, deepak today is an evaluator if i am right evaluator yes with no, this i hand Yes, excuse me. I was also expecting a push boy. Is she here? Uh, Zoom master? No, I don't see no. her among the guests. I now hand over the charge to toast master of the day, toast master Kusuma. Thank you. Welcome her with a huge round of applause. Thank you, uh, presiding officer Kalpana. That was a very generous introduction that you gave me, and uh, I'm really. i was very happy with that kind of introduction so since we have a long lineup of speakers let us start the meeting immediately without much uh, delay a warm welcome to the toastmaster of the club from other clubs and also my dear guests today is my privilege to welcome you all to meeting number 97 of speakers community toastmasters club Toastmaster Kusuma is your toastmaster of the day, and I'm sure we are going to enjoy a Sunday afternoon. Now the theme for the day is think big thoughts, but relish the small pleasures. Dream big, then you will think big. Press the action button to put your thoughts into action. The fact that there are so many startups in the last one decade is proof that the youth are dreaming big. and when you dare to think big we achieve something great get recognition awards accolades which adds a lot of value to our life we need to create a balance between big achievements and small pleasures watching your child speak the first few words watching it take the first few steps are days that will never return and we can never pin monetary value on these small pleasures have you ever walked by the river side or played the card games on a sunday afternoon with your friends believe and the best is hearing small children conversation it's really fun and because they're so innocent they don't know how funny they are but we get a lot of joy doing and hearing all this these are the small pleasures in life 
Now, let me just share a little bit of my own fun that we had. I remember when we were young, my parents would take us to our village. You know, it was the annual vacation. And just a few months before the vacation, the excitement would start. What clothes to take? Are we finished with the packing and everything? And the strangest part was when we look back on it, our villages had absolutely no amenities. We didn't have tap water. We didn't have electricity. But we were so excited about going there because we would go and draw water from the well and in the meantime, throw water on each other. And as usual, being from the city, our pots would fall into the well and the blame game would start that no, no, he pushed me and that's why it happened and all those kind of things. And swimming in the small water tank. You know, the, when I showed that, I used to talk about it. You know, we used to swim here, what fun we had. And I took my small children to that village. I said, this is the water tank where I swam when we were small children. And my son looked at it and said, you mean to say you actually swam in this dirty water? <laughs> and I realized perceptions were different. It was a fun factor that we enjoyed. Climbing trees. And more than climbing trees, the fun part was shaking the branches so someone would fall down. And even today when we cousins meet, we discuss about it. You remember you are the one who always made me fall down from the tree. I hurt myself. So these are the memories that we have built up. And these are the small pleasures that have added a lot of fun into our lives. Like, but of course, it's not that we need to have big thoughts because we need to achieve something in our life because that's going to add value to yourself and you will look back on your achievements with great pride. But at the same time, don't forget the small pleasures in life. So, so friends, as we know that we've got a long line of uh, uh, speakers, we will uh, start with the meeting in earnest. It is usually divided into three segments, the prepared speech, the table topics, and the evaluation segment. Now to help us create fantastic future leaders, we have with us a team who will set the pace and the discipline for the meeting. Your ideas may be fantastic. Your voice and delivery of the speech is fantastic. But if your language is not powerful, then your speech will definitely lack the zing that is needed. Now, to help us in this exercise, we have the grammarian, Toastmaster Rishabh, who will give us his guidelines and also share the word of the day. Over to you, Toastmaster Rishabh. Thank you, TMOD Kusma. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so I'll be the grammar, uh, grammarian of the day. So as a grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay uh, close attention to all speakers, listen uh, carefully to their language usage, and I'll be taking note of any incorrect usage of grammar, as well as any good usage of words, quotes, saying, or thoughts. So as it is my duty to introduce the word of the day. So the word of the day is euphoric. Uh, euphoric meaning uh, marked by a feeling of great happiness and excitement or uh, characterized by, you know, by producing euphoria. So an example uh, of this will be, he knew he was going to win big, 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 and he was euphoric about it. He was very happy about it. Uh, over to you, uh, TMOD Kusuma. Thank you. So we're all euphoric about today's meeting, waiting to hear all the speakers, right? We all know the discipline of educators. And today we have an educator in economics and a financial planner who will be the timer for the meeting today. TM Sangeeta Shruti for the timing guidance. Over to you, Sangeeta Shruti. Namaskar, Toastmasters guest. I am Sangeeta Shruti and I will be pouncing on every breath you take because I am timing everything you do today. For prepared speeches, I request evaluators to let me know the time limits, which would be five to seven minutes for a normal prepared speech and four to six minutes for a icebreaker speech. Evaluators have a time limit of two to three minutes when they give their speech. Everybody has a 30 seconds um, grace period after showing of the red cards. 
over ba back to the toastmaster today thank you she has already said the discipline and i can see the tension on everyone stress yeah <laughs> so the next we have when we have the perfect speech how do we make it seamless to make it even better our our counter toastmaster mithali will give us the guidelines for this over to you mithali thank you toastmaster cousin fellow toastmaster and guest i am at the our counter for the day as the our counter i will note a word and sound that are used at crunch and or fillers by the speakers during the meeting i will listen to the words such as and well so but and you know i will also listen for filler sound such as a uh, mm, or uh, and i will note when a speaker repeated a phrases such as i i or this meaning this meaning and meaning and as long or short phrases i will give my re uh, report and call for the by the general evaluator thank you and over to you toastmaster of today thank you so before we start the speech uh, does anyone here want to see the uh, cards or are we okay with moving ahead the timer cards i hope all the speakers have uh, checked the timing cards yeah uh, they have uh, but once they come on we can still you know ask them whether it is visible so that will you know help the speaker to pin or yeah. at least uh, take a note of time cards so before every speaker shall i call the timer to show the uh, cards yes i think that might help okay Yeah. thank you kusum the first speaker of the day is toastmaster shubham and the title is the healing power of music now i will call upon his evaluator toastmaster nirali to share the project details and the objective but before that we can just as a timer to uh, change the uh, timer cards to make sure that she has she can see the cards yeah uh toastmaster shubham could you just see whether you are able to see the time of cards please yes ma'am it is clearly you visible you are fantastic toastmaster shubham uh toastmaster kushuma you can now ask uh, yeah. the evaluator to yeah. read out the objectives toastmaster nirani can you please read out the objectives of the speech thank you uh, toastmaster of the day toastmaster kushma good afternoon everyone speaker uh, toastmaster shubham is uh, going to deliver his level 1 uh, project 2 of pathway uh, presentation must, uh, mastery the purpose of uh, this project is to learn or review basic methods of writing a speech with a defined defined purpose and to present a well organized speech on any topic all the best uh, toastmaster shubham over to you toastmaster of the day toastmaster shubham healing power of music healing power of music toastmaster shubham it is rightly said that don't underestimate the healing power of these three things first is music the second is the ocean and the third the stars good evening toastmaster of the day hello toastmasters and guests today i am here to talk about a topic that is close to the hearts of many of us the healing power of music music has always been an integral part of human life people all over the world have been using music to express themselves tell stories and connect with others music has the power to move us in ways that nothing else can it can lift our spirits calm our minds and even heal our bodies 
whether we are listening to a song that reminds us of a special moment moment in our lives or playing an instrument that we love music has the ability to affect our emotional and physical well-being in profound ways however what many people may not realize is that music has healing powers it has the power to evoke emotions inspire creativity and bring people together music has been used for centuries as a form of therapy in ancient greece music was used to help calm patients in mental hospitals in the middle ages it was used to help patients recover from different illnesses today music therapy is a recognized form of alternative medicine that is used to help treat a wide range of physical as well as mental health conditions so what it is it about music that makes it so powerful so one of the key elements of music is its ability to affect our emotions music has the power to make us feel happy sad relaxed or energized when we listen to music our brain release dopamine a chemical that is associated with pleasure and reward this can help us to reduce stress anxiety depression and promote the feeling of happiness slash euphoria or well being in addition to its emotional effects music also has physical effects on the body studies have shown that listening to music can reduce blood pressure lower heart rate and can even improve your immune system this is because music has the ability to stimulate the production of endorphins which are natural pain killers that help to reduce inflammation and improve circulation music therapy is a form of therapy that uses music to help people who are experiencing emotional psychological or physical problems it is based on the idea that music can be used to communicate and connect with people on a deep level coming to the point how music has helped me as a person music has helped me to focus and concentrate better in my studies or while playing games that can be indoor or outdoor music has improved my cognitive performance so making it easier for me to complete complex task at many a times i find myself more productive when i am listening to music particularly if it is the music that i enjoy so coming to the question of the hour, does music have healing powers according to me the answer is a resounding yes music has the power to affect us on a deep emotional and physical level and its therapeutic benefits are well documented and researched worldwide whether i'm dealing with a physical ailment or a mental health condition music therapy has helped me on my path to healing in conclusion i would like to say that music is not just a form of entertainment it has the power to heal inspire and transform us so the next time you put on your favorite song music or a song of any genre remember that you are not just listening to music but you are experiencing the healing power of sound the next time when you are feeling stressed or anxious take some time to listen to your favorite music you may be surprised at how much better you feel and you feel euphoric at times at last i would like to say that, dear music thank you for always clearing my head healing my heart and lifting my spirits thank you thank you all
Thank you, Toastmaster Shubham. That's really true. Music says it all and does it all to us. The next speaker is Toastmaster Libby. Her evaluator is Toastmaster Shreyans, who is a CA working at Deloitte in Pune. I will now call upon the evaluator Tanya as Toastmaster Shreyans to share the project details and the objectives. Thank you, Toastmaster Kusuma. Uh, Toastmaster Libby is giving her speech for Pathway Strategic Relationship L1P3 project, researching and presenting. Our speech objectives are, the member will present a well-organized and well-delivered speech. The speech may be humorous, informational, or any style the member chooses. The speech content and style should work well together. The project is not a report on the content of the researching and, pro researching and presenting project. Timer, please note that a time limit is five to seven minutes. Over to you, Toastmaster Kushina. Thank you. Toastmaster Libby, City of Dreams. City of Dreams, Toastmaster Libby. Is my screen visible? Yes, it is. Without the notes this time. No, without the notes, yes. And I'm audible and uh, visible? Yes, you are. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Toastmaster of the day, uh, my dear Toastmasters and guests who are present today. So anybody who is born and raised in Mumbai city takes a certain pride in being called a Mumbai cut. Mumbai is actually one of the largest urban centers with a population of about 20 million people. And I am very proud to be known as a Mumbai cut. Uh, Mumbai, as most of you would know, has a very rich and colorful history that dates back to several centuries. Uh, it was a um, combination of seven islands. Uh, in the 1687, uh, Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb captured Mumbai from the hands of Portuguese and gave it to the British East India Company as part of a marriage dowry. The East India Company then handed it over to the British Crown. Now, these seven islands took the form of Mumbai that we see now somewhere around the 18th century. Post this, uh, the city transformed from a colonial er era port to a major center of commerce, entertainment, and finance in India. What I'm trying to do in this speech is to trace the growth of Mumbai from where it started to where it has reached now, basically to see if uh, we can still think of Mumbai as the city of dreams, which helps people, um, you know, those who dream big to work hard and achieve their goals. Uh, after independence, uh, Mumbai experienced a period of rapid uh, industrialization. This was largely driven by the textile and manufacturing industries. In fact, Mumbai's in textile industry was once the largest in India employing um, employing over five, uh, five lakh people in the 80, uh, 1980s. Uh, the city's first textile mill, the Bombay Spinning and Weaving Company was established somewhere in 1854. This created numerous uh, employment opportunities. Migrants from across the country would travel to Mumbai uh, to try and achieve their dreams. The Mumbai's industrial sector basically played a crucial role in the city's economic growth. In 1991, the total value of the industrial production in Mumbai was around $6.8 billion. This increased to $52 billion in 2020. That is a growth of over 660%. Can you imagine that? Also, in the 1990s, India embarked on uh, some, uh, I mean, we, uh, something which we call as the liberalization and globalization. This further boosted the Mumbai's economic growth. Mumbai was also um, uh, very geographically placed uh, with a port um, which helped with trade and further helped in the economic development of Mumbai. Uh, the Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust um, again saw significant growth. In 1990s, uh, it handled about 22 metric tons. Uh, which increased to 71 uh, million metric tons, 
which is again a growth of around 220%. So Mumbai was basically growing in leaps and bounds. Mumbai contributed to economic, uh, the India's economy in a major way. Uh, in, um, if I have to show you the growth, uh, in 1960, uh, it was approximately around INR 309 crore. But if you look at the GDP contribution of Mumbai in um, uh, around 1990s, it was $25 billion. And now in 2020-21, it is around $310 billion. Can you imagine the growth that is happening? And how, how, did, how did Mumbai contribute to this growth? There are several factors that I would like to look at. Uh, if I have to look at the uh, service industry, now Mumbai is the financial capital home to uh, headquarters of many major companies, including the Bombay Stock Exchange, this is a Bank of India, National Stock Exchange, etc. Uh, the infrastructure developments that uh, happened in Mumbai. Initially, um, you know, in around, uh, we just had around, um, one major flyover in 1995. Now we look at it in uh, 2021, we have about 50 flyovers and several major infrastructure projects such as the uh, Bandra Valley ceiling, the Mumbai me uh, Metro, etc. If I have to talk about the transportation system that is there in Mumbai, uh, the suburban railway sy uh, uh, system, which is known as the lifeline of Mumbai, it is the busiest in the world and carries about 7.5 million passengers daily. The, it also has a well-developed network of um, uh, 2,000 kilometers of roads. Uh, uh, coming back to the railways, if, if we have to again compare it, it was around 220 kilometers in 1960. Um, and now it is at um, 465 kilometers in 1990s and increased to a 600 kilometers in 2021. Talking about the Mumbai airport, another mode of transport uh, that we Mumbai could use, uh, in 2000, it, hand, it could handle about 11 million passengers. Now in 2019, 2020, it handles 50 million passengers. The number of vehicles in Mumbai has increased from eight lakhs in 1990 to about 40 lakhs in 2021. What all this goes to show is that there was so much of industry and uh, happening in Mumbai that Mumbai was became a major job creator. The city's workforce again increased uh, significantly um, all the way in 1990, uh, 1991, where it was at uh, 5.2 million and now at 7.5 million and counting. That is a growth of around 44%. Mumbai is also home to several startups uh, and it may, uh, making it the fastest growing startup ecosystems in the world. Moving on to real estate. Again, Mumbai and its real estate is, uh, is something which we all know about and we know how Mumbai has a booming real estate market, uh, market with property prices in some areas of the city among the highest in the world in 1991. The average price of a residential property in Mumbai was about um, INR 3,200 per square feet. And if you compare that to what it is now in around 2020, it, is, it has gone up to 12,000 uh, per square feet. Not only real estate, what about education? People come from across India to ed get educated in Mumbai. Mumbai has about uh, 700 colleges and universities, including the University of Mumbai, which has about 7 lakh students enrolled. What about tourism? Mumbai is again one of the, the biggest tourist destinations in India. For us, Mumbai girls who live in uh, Mumbai, we don't see the value in it. I mean, I often ask people, I don't know why people come to Mumbai. There's nothing really much to watch. But if you would believe me, Mumbai was visited by around 9.2 million international uh, tourists in, in 2019. But these were all the jazzy parts, all the good part, which makes us feel really good about the city that we live in. But like everything, everything, it has pros and cons. Mumbai too has several challenges uh, that it has to face. 
it has witnessed significant growth and development in infrastructure transportation but it is also facing a lot of challenges related to housing environmental sustainability the high cost of living in the uh, in the city we all know what that is um, according to a 2020 report the cost of living in mumbai is 44.85% higher than new delhi it's definitely cheaper to live in New Delhi. Huh? How many of us want to move to New Delhi? I don't. So then another, the other, uh, other uh, challenges that are faced by Mumbai are overcrowding. If I have to give you some comparison, in uh, 1941, Mumbai's population was about 2 million. The 1961 census showed that the population is 5.97 million. And in 2021, it is estimated that the population has gone over 20.4 million. This makes uh, Mumbai one of the most densely populated uh, cities across the world. And uh, like I had mentioned earlier, there is a lot of migration that happens to Mumbai. So that is also another major driver of increasing the Mumbai's population. Besides this, there are many slums Mumbai has a large number of informal settlements which are not recognized by the government and lack basic amenities like water, sanitation, electricity. According to the census, um, Mumbai increased around 9 lakh in 1961 to over 6.5 million in 2011 in slum dwellers. Another issue that faces uh, Mumbai is the environmental sustainability. We've all heard in news about the air quality of Mumbai, how it has been uh, deteriorating over the years. The uh, Central Pollution Control Board uh, says that uh, it has, uh, the air quality of Mumbai has increased from 72 micrograms per cubic meter in 2005 to uh, eight per cubic meter in 2021. With so many people living in the country, it's obvious that there is going to be waste generation. The city generates around 8,000 metric tons of waste per day. Can you Im imagine the amount of waste that we actually uh, generate? Besides that, a very common thing is uh, whether cities uh, witness decline in tree cover. The number of trees in Mumbai is again decreasing. It was about 19.2 million in 2017 and has come down to 13.9 million in uh, 2021 as per the data from a forest survey of India. Are these the only challenges? How, how, how is the authorities, how is Mumbai tackling these uh, challenges? So for uh, in terms of the problem of overcrowding, there is... Uh, to combat this issue, the authorities have rolled out several schemes and projects. Uh, one is they have de they have started the development of new townships. Where we live, Navi Mumbai, is was one such initiative which was launched right away back in 1970. Uh, the project obviously has been successful. The population of Nav Navi Mumbai is growing. Um, we've all seen it, how it is working. They also started affordable housing projects like the Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. It is an initiative which aims to provide affordable housing to the people of Mumbai. Then uh, there was another uh, initiative that was started, which was called the Slum Rehabilitation. In, is, uh, here they, they endeavor to provide housing and basic amenities to the slum developers. Not only this, uh, the, uh, the government of Maharashtra has looked at expanding the public transportation. We all know what overcrowding causes. We all have seen the state of our buses and trains when we travel during peak hours. Uh, the Mumbai Metro, a rapid transit system was launched. It is supposed to be a total length of 450 kilometers with 12 operation lines and 213 stations. I am just waiting for this whole project to be over to actually witness it the Mumbai Coastal Road. It is an under construction freeway which will run along the city's western um, coastline connecting Nariman Point and Kandivili. The Navi Mumbai International Airport is under construction. We all know that it's been under construction for a long while. It's a green free airport that will serve the Mumbai metropolitan region. Uh, the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is again another under construction project of 21.8 kilometers uh, long sea bridge which will connect Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. I mean that is definitely what we all uh, Navi Mumbai cars are waiting for. The Mumbai Monorail which again serves the eastern suburbs of Mumbai. 
so many initiatives have been launched uh, by the authorities. As Mumbai continues to grow, it is likely that these new opportunities will emerge. It will become even more attractive destination for businesses and individuals looking to succeed in this world. Overall, these uh, initiatives have varying degrees of uh, uh, success, in reducing, the in reducing the overcrowding of Mumbai. Uh, you know, while the development of new township and affordable has helped to attract business and residents, but it still has not reached where it should reach. The expansion of public transport has helped to reduce congestion, overcrowding, etc. But more needs to be done to address this. Uh, including the development of more sustainable urban planning strategies, initiative to improve the quality of life in city slums. In conclusion, while Mumbai remains a hub for economic uh, development, there are also several challenges that make it difficult for many people to achieve their dreams in the city. Uh, while Mumbai may still be seen as a dream city by some, other city's challenges also must be acknowledged and addressed in order to make a more equitable and sustainable place for all. So what do you think? Do you think that um, Mumbai is still the city of dreams? As for me, thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Libby. We have the next speaker, uh, Toastmaster Dhawan. His uh, evaluator is Toastmaster Satya. Toastmaster Satya, he's yes. from. Uh, yes, yeah. He's a working professional since two decades of experience and uh, he is into operations, process excellence, and business development. And he's also a certified practicing career success coach since 2017. And uh, his mantra in life is, I believe in being in the game and staying on the move. Fantastic. So can we have uh, Toastmaster Satya to share the project details and objectives? Hi everyone. My target speaker, Toastmaster Dabal, will be presenting his uh, project three, level one of Pathway Persuasive Influence. The purpose of uh, his speech today will be to practice using vocal variety and body language to enhance the quality of his speech. So I wish all the best. Over to you, I Toastmaster. Guidelines, today. Please. The timing of the speech will be five to seven minutes. Thank you. Toastmaster Dhawan, uh, before that, one uh, small request to all the speakers, please try and keep to your timing guidelines. Five to seven minutes, 30 seconds extra, you can take, but not more than that. Yeah, thank you. Toastmaster Dhawan, my one billion dollar. My one billion dollar Toastmaster Dhawan. Am I audible and visible? Yeah. Also, you can check the timing uh, whether you can see the okay. timer's card. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yellow, red. So today, I'm not here to deliver a speech, but to take out my frustration, to tell you how unfair the God is. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, it was 14 March 2022. I was having my good night's sleep, seeing beautiful dreams. I was driving my Rolls Royce along with my supermodel friends. All the people on the sideways were shouting my name. My life was perfect. Suddenly, everything went dark. I got scared. 
where are my supermodel friends where is my car at that point a ray of light appeared in front of me it was getting brighter and more dazzling i was trying to see through it but i couldn't keep my eyes open and this spirit and heavy voice echoed from that night what do you want my child i responded with tantrum right now turning off your torch would work just fine the bright light gradually dissipated and there was none other than but the god standing in front of me i didn't know what to say i was scared but also excited i wanted to say so many things but i was speechless i was anxious but my heart was far he asked me again what do you want my child this time i put myself together i started thinking about my wish list mm-hmm. super model friends but where will i take them without my car rolls rolls but they will keep filling the tank and this crazy out of the box idea popped up in my intelligent brain and i asked for 1 billion dollar so i could buy anything that i want the god smiled and responded fantastic so be it and vanished as soon as he disappeared i stepped out of my dream jumped out of my bed and started searching every corner of my house for my money but i couldn't find one single rupee i was confused but again my intelligent brain tried and i realized that everything is going digital so much be god i immediately check my bank balance and guess what it was same as before zero rupees he didn't even give me the minimum balance after that night i slept early and woke up late so he could come again and tell me the where about of my money but all those nights were blank nights and now i was furious it was unjust how could he make fun of someone like this how could he talk with someone emotions like this i desperately wanted answers i was so depressed that i stopped going out with my friends I stopped using social media because all I could see was happy faces of other people. I was so embarrassed. How could someone be so naive to believe in all this nonsense? I was miserable and cast down. So I decided to indulge myself in multiple activities. I started to spend more time on my startup. I joined those masters club. I gave myself in workout because all I wanted to take my mind off of this incident last month we closed one deal with one of our clients I thought of that is placing in this time but that was also a eureka moment for me and then my calm mind responded Isn't it what I always wanted? Earlier, I wasn't able to close one deal. Now I'm closing more deals because I have been improving my communication. I'm able to explore new ideas because I have been spending more time on my startup. I feel more confident now because I have been training my body and mind. isn't it the way towards more prosperous life isn't it the way towards success isn't it the way towards my 1 billion dollar fellow toastmasters and your guests whenever you feel down depressed or doom always remember god doesn't believe in charity he believes in empowerment God doesn't believe 
is phone feed in gas he believes in creating gas god doesn't believe in our bad luck he believes in us now i want all of you to repeat after me i believe in myself i believe in myself i believe in myself again and louder i believe in myself i believe in myself i believe in myself that's the spirit keep believing in yourself and trust the process and i'm sure you will be on the way to your 1 billion dollar over to team one thank you thank you toastmaster devan i am also waiting for my 1 billion dollar yeah like i said dream big let big thoughts happen and let it get turned into action also yeah all the best for your 1 billion dollar our next speaker is uh, toastmaster swati her evaluator is toastmaster deepak toastmaster deepak uh, is, can you please share the project details and objectives uh, Yeah, good evening, uh, fellow Toastmaster. Swadhi Agarwal is attempting her level one project for term presentation mastery. The purpose of the speech is for the member to present a speech and receive a feedback. Timer, please note the time limit is five to seven minutes. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Swadhi. unleash your inner shakti or power unleash your inner shakti power to master swati uh, first of all i would want to check if i am audible and visible to everyone thank you thank you to master of the day sangeeta can you na uh, change the timer card yeah thank you uh, thank you to master of the day and hello hello to master Chaitra Navratri is a Hindu festival celebrating the nine forms of the goddess Shakti or Navadurga, and it just ended. Looking at the pomp and grandeur with which the festival was celebrated throughout India, made me question my beliefs and traditions. On one hand, we worship the goddess as a mother, as a daughter. and as a storehouse of power courage and compassion but on the other hand we fail to acknowledge and give her the due credit to her human form on earth the human folk let me tell you a story to help you deeper deepen your self introspect and to also appreciate the deeper meaning of this festival raju's mother took her to kumar tuli a place where potters made idols of the goddess amidst the festive fervor they saw numerous idols of various colors shapes and sizes strewn in the neighborhood raju was euphoric he tugged at his mother's sari and told her excitedly mother mother see there are so many idols Look at the series of nine idols. Can you tell me what those mean? Raju's mother smilingly explained to him that these are the nine forms of the goddess. She began explaining the first form. The first form is Devi Shell Putra, or the daughter of the mountain. The god embodies strength and courage. As she began explaining, memories of her past came back flooding towards her. as to how she had to be strong and face uncertainties as a sole guardian of her three younger siblings when their parents passed away the second form goddess brahmacharini is the goddess of penance and devotion raju's mother reminded herself that she had to give up her studies and take up menial jobs in the neighborhood to fund the education of her siblings and she became a teary eyed the third form of the devi chandra ghanta is the goddess of humanity she is compassionate towards her devotees but she is also terrifying towards her enemies 
how she recalled how she stood up against the eve teasers in her village um, against numerous warnings of severe consequences she overcame fear and stood tall the fourth form is devi kushmanda devi kushmanda is believed to have filled the darkness in the non existent universe with light similar to how raju's mother had filled the lives of her siblings with love and education the fifth form of the goddess is devi kandamata she is the goddess of motherhood and children and she had the strongest resonance with raju's mother she recalled how she had rushed her youngest sibling to the hospital at midnight when he suffered from chicken pox not worrying about how she could contract the disease herself she felt motherly and swelled with pride the sixth form is the devi kathyayini or the goddess of power the power that raju's mother felt within her when she moved to the city to get a job for herself so that she could fund the education of her siblings and provide them with a better life she felt determined at this moment the seventh form is the goddess kal ratri or the destroyer of demons raju's mother recalled how in the city her colleague had befriended her with evil intentions and ran away with all her savings and she was left but she did not move she went to the police registered a complaint and helped the police track the uh, culprit in that process she saved the lives of multiple victims she felt proud the eighth form or the devi mahagauri is beautiful and radiant but to raju's mother beauty meant inner purity and warmth and love towards everyone the final form of the goddess is goddess siddhidatri or the one that has supernatural powers at this raju's mother chuckled she thought she didn't have any superpowers but she was wrong she had transformed the lives of her siblings who were now well reputed government officials and considered her as their mother at this moment she felt a renewed sense of energy and optimism brimming inside her she decided to pursue her entrepreneurship venture to help millions of women out there in this moment she was no less than goddess siddhidatri herself now you must be wondering why i haven't named raju's mother yet and i've been calling her as raju's mother it is because she doesn't have one name it's the all of us the all of us who have gone through such circumstances and have emerged stronger than before the nine forms of the goddess are a reminder that every woman has a warrior within herself she may not wear an armor but she battles every day with grace and determination so to all the ladies out there do believe in yourself do not forget that you are worth it and do not let anyone else tell you that you're not enough keep shining and illuminate everybody else's life with your light thank you thank you to smart swati that was a very inspiring talk especially for all the women out here thank you the next speaker is toastmaster danish and uh, his evaluator is none other than our presiding officer toastmaster kalpana who will share the project details and the objectives thank you toastmaster of the day toastmaster kushuma my uh, speaker is pursuing pathway effective coaching his level is level 3 and he is at project 2 and the purpose of his speech is for the member to practice writing and delivering a speech that inspires others the speech is for the member 
to inspire the audience. Timer, kindly note the length of the speaker's speeches, five to seven minutes. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Toastmaster Danish, secret to greatness. Secret to greatness, Toastmaster Danish. I'm audible and visible. Should I start? You all are going to be shocked if I tell you a simple secret to greatness. Before I reveal that, Anyone wants to guess something that's your mind related to greatness? Anyone? Anyone? Simplicity. Anyone? Anyone more? Control over your own mind. Maybe. Anything more? Knowledge. Definitely. Okay. Okay, let me not hold your excitement. The simple secret to greatness is consistency. As Dwayne Brock Johnson said, success is not about greatness. It is about being consistent. Consistent hard work leads to success and greatness will follow. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and future Toastmasters. My name is Dani Soma. How many of you are thinking of losing weight or learning something new in your life? Anyone? Okay. Weight loss is achieved by following best techniques that solves your body and continuously practicing them until it becomes a habit. The same is valid for learning something new in your life. You can't expect a magic pill that will help you to reduce weight in two days or a month. But one thing that will help you to reduce weight, not in month, but with passage of time is being consistent with your exercise and following a good diet. So what does consistency means? Consistency is about repetition. It is about doing the same thing again and again until it becomes a part of your life. Consistent is a commitment. You make it to yourself and others to achieve something in your life. Let me tell you a story. During COVID, we all lived life in quarantine for two years. At that time, I put a lot of weight and my weight was approximately 98 kgs. And I look like that. With that increased weight, my sugar level went up and I started facing some health issues. This made my parents extremely worried about my health and they consulted a doctor. The doctor has suggested me to start doing some physical exercise. For someone like me who was not very active and a low part of his life, it was not easy. But I believed I can do it. So I joined a gym. I went there for two, three months but without consistency in a week, two or three times, but doing intense workout, but nothing happens. I never lose a pound. I feel demotivated and realized I need to change something. In that whole journey, I realized I went to gym two or three times a week, day, but without, and also doing intense workout but I was not consistent. If I need to lose weight, I need to be consistent in going to gym. If I work out for only five, 45 minutes or one hour, after this, I hit my target weight and I feel fitter, confident and have a positive approach that as comparison to the previous version of myself. All this because I choose consistency over intensity. In that whole journey, I realized in order to achieve something in your life, you need to be consistent at that thing. Does not matter how difficult it is. So I would like to mention some points that will help you to reduce 
to remain consistent first dream it before without dreaming it is not going to be reality second mark divide your goals into smaller goals make simple small changes to do to mark you to complete your goal third segment your task note down your task and goals to to mark to, to mark your progress towards your goal fourth surround yourself with positive people if you want to remain consistent consistent try to surround yourself with people who have same energy and same passion first remind yourself why you started a daily positive reminder is a great power booster it help you to remain motivated when you think thinking of giving up then hardly in his famous book compound effect talked about a simple formula simple small changes applied our extended period of time is equal to huge result to to make consistency work you should make the right choices show the right behavior and a low time to make its course to end my speech i would like to mention a quote by chetan bhagat alone or with lot of support being consistent in your efforts is what brings excellence be your own cheerleader when no one else is cheering for you thanks and back to you thank you toastmaster danish i now call upon the timer to share her time report i think you are on mute my apologies for the slightly ghostly beginning this is the timer report for the prepared speeches all prepared speeches today had a time limit of 5 to 7 minutes first speaker toastmaster shubham spoke for 5 minutes 46 seconds he is qualified for voting the second speaker toastmaster libby spoke for 14 minutes 51 seconds she is not qualified for voting Toastmaster Dhawan spoke for six minutes twenty four seconds. He is qualified for voting. Speaker number four, Toastmaster Swati, spoke for six minutes thirty three seconds. She is qualified for voting. Speaker number five, Toastmaster Danish, spoke for five minutes fifty six seconds. He is qualified for voting. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, uh, Presiding Officer Kalpana. Do you all have the voting now, or is it at the end of the session? no we have our voting now uh, so i think uh, with the poll can be raised uh, yeah. toast ma i mean uh, zoom master thank you yeah. are you okay yes i think we can end the poll uh, i expect in votes but there are 13 votes till now okay can everyone kindly vote everyone even the guests who are present here can give their votes requesting each and every one of you to vote All right, that's fine, Monica. Let's move on. You can end the poll. So we now go on to the next segment and the most popular segment in the Toastmasters. That is a table topic session. We have Toastmaster Kishore who will be conducting this popular round of the meeting. Before you start the session, one small question for you. I. I what is the small pleasures in life that you can share with us a couple of them you can uh... Uh, yeah sure so uh, i am a homesick person and i like to be with my uh, 
kid and a family uh, instead of going out for shopping or need traveling so uh, i like uh, so i enjoy these movements more than going out uh, other than that i can say uh, i i like to live in the moment instead of capturing it so i took uh, pictures very less on very rare occasions i uh, try to enjoy the moment at its fullest okay so we cannot expect many selfies and all from you correct yeah <laughs> So, uh, Toastmaster Kishore is a financial professional. So, we have many financial professionals over here. And uh, I think a very prosperous community. This meeting is a meeting of many prosperous people. Yeah? So, and of course, he is now trying to develop his communication and leadership skills by joining the Toastmasters. Yeah. So, over to you, Toast uh, uh, Table Topic Master for the day, Toastmaster Kishore. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, good evening, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I am Kishore, and today I am very euphoric to be the Table Topic Master for the day. This is an impromptu speech session of a Toastmasters meeting. It's an interesting session which will give a chance to Toastmasters and guests to sharpen their listening, thinking, organizing, and speech delivery skills. For table topics, the time allotted is one to two minutes, green screen to be showed at one minute, yellow screen at 1.5 minutes, red at two minutes. A grace period of 30 seconds is given to qualify for the vote. Speaker has to speak um, for minimum one minute to qualify for the voting. All speakers are requested to use word of the day. I encourage members and guests to volunteer for the session. Now let's begin with the session. So anyone would like to volunteer? I'll volunteer. Okay. TM Rishav, what is success according to you? TM Rishav, what is success according to you? Uh, thank you, Toastmaster. Uh, it is a nice topic, uh, like what is success? So it's a very subjective you know, uh, discussion because for everyone, the parameters and the level of success is different. For me, probably uh, it, it might not be you know, uh, measured by money, but it might be measured by my own happiness, like whether I am content, satisfied, you know, whether it is giving me the opportunity to learn, to become a better person, to, you know, lead others or, you know, help others. So for me, if I think about it, success will not be just limited to the money or the property or, you know, the wealth I'll accumulate. It will also, you know, define like how many lives did, did I touch upon, how many lives, you know, I was able to help. Even if I help a single person in my whole life, you know, be it be a financial help or, or you know, emotional help or I'm just there for them you know, uh, in their difficult moment, I think I'll count it as, as a success. So for in order, you know, to be like we as a humans, like uh, we humanity should come naturally to us. But in today's, you know, era, it doesn't come. It, it's like a condition, like we are looking for people, you know, who are, you know, good, who, who are nice to other people. But isn't that should be the, you know, default scenario with everyone? Isn't everyone should be nice? So I think it's a very good question. It's a very good topic, uh, you know, letting us to introspect and, you know, evaluate. Are we moving in the right direction? We are just running behind, you know, uh, uh, promotion, successes, money. And now we, we have even developed AI, right? It's going to replace us. So probably AI might be a better human than we are to other people. That, that's it. Over to you, Toastmaster Risha. Thank you, Toastmaster Risha. So, any more volunteers? Uh, then shall I pick one? Uh, TM Monica, would you like to give a shot? Yeah, sure. But uh, but speaker has raised the hand. Uh, I didn't see. Yeah. Uh, yes. 
Dawal, okay. Okay, okay. I will go after him. Okay. Uh, I would also request Kishore that you also call in the guests. That will yeah. also give the guests an opportunity. Yes. Yeah. Sure, All right. Sure. So, Master Monica, do help him uh, as a Zoom master if anybody raises their hands or anybody yeah. is volunteering. Thank you. Over yeah. to you, table topic master. Yeah. So, TM Dawal, life is a journey or a destiny. TM Dawal, life is a journey or destiny. Am I audible and visible? Yes, you are. Okay. Since childhood, we have heard of this term, life is a journey, but not a destination. What does it mean? What does it indicate? Let me show you my journey. How did I become Toastmaster? And that I will align with how life becomes our journey, not but not our destination. During lockdown, I attended one online session of rhetorics. And at the end of that, I got the one reference that there is one club called Toastmaster International in which you can improve your communication and leadership skills. But how, why did I get interested in joining the Toastmaster community in the first place? In the rhetorics course, there was one politician. Yeah, we know as a Toastmaster, we don't talk about sex, politics, and religion. But excuse me for this one point that uh, Abraham Lincoln was his name. He was the 16th US president of the United States of America. In his Gettysburg address, he mentioned something called government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish. So you recognize this term, terminology of the people, by the people, for the people. Of course, you all would, because we all have heard of this terminology as a definition of democracy. He delivered this speech in around 1862 or 63, when the civil war was ended. Still, till day, he used the same terminology to define what is democracy. Yes, we all know words of power. But can you feel the magnitude of it? It's been more than one century, one and a half century. Still, we remember his words. So that is the magnitude of his words. I want to reach at that culmination point. I want to improve myself to that level so people will remember what I said, even after decades or centuries have passed. So it doesn't be it cannot be achieved in one single day or in one year or a couple of years. It is a long lasting process. It takes continuous efforts. It takes consistency, it takes discipline. And it doesn't come in one day or two days or one week or two weeks. It doesn't happen over a uh, some overnight thing. It is not an overnight thing. It becomes your journey. And journey, it is imbibed by what you feed to yourself, what you feed to your brain. And gradually, you will adopt that capabilities, you will adopt that mindset, and you will follow that path. And so in a way, I can certainly tell that life is a journey, but not a destination. Over to Table Topic Master. Thank you, TM Dawal. So next table topic speaker is Toastmaster Monica. Uh, Toastmaster Monica, one thing you want to achieve in your life. Toastmaster Monica, one thing you want to achieve in your life. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Kishore. It is a wonderful topic. Like, like the my our fellow member just told, uh, it was a topic, the life is a journey, not about the destination. So if we decide one of the destination in our life, and if we decide uh, one, of, one of the goal, then it is not like, uh, um, it is not like we are not uh, enjoying the journey right now. If we decide, on the 
uh, short term goals or the long term goals then we could we could see uh, our path towards uh, towards that journey to achieve our target so and to enjoy that all the process so uh, i have the uh, i have the one of the uh, destiny uh, one of the target that i i would i want to achieve that is the uh, point that uh, that to communicate very well uh, with each uh, with everyone that i could meet and uh, uh, to understand them and to help uh, to help them so this is the Uh, target i have said now like the short term or the long term uh, target that i would say and this is uh, the journey i want to enjoy uh, till uh, throughout the my life thank you and over to you thank you to master monica uh, so we have two guests today guest dipanshu and guest ajay so anyone would like to participate guest dipanshu guest ajay yeah uh, yes guest dipanshu have raised his hand yeah <laughs> uh many people have raised their hands but this is our last table topic speaker for today guest dipanshu uh, so guest dipanshu what makes you happy guest dipanshu what makes you happy thank you toastmasters kishore for giving me this opportunity to speak mm, helping somebody and uh, sorting his problem um, uh, and helping somebody and sorting uh, completely sorting his problem uh, give me a real happiness and helping uh, some uh, helping in the sense that i if somebody don't know any information and i am able to uh, give that information to him and it is somehow helping him that uh, that gives that also gives me a real happiness that's all okay uh, you can take one more kishore and do you have a topic take uh, one more we had quite a few hands raised then we can move on is that all right toast master of the day shreyan sir raised his hand okay All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Toastmaster Shreyans, uh, hard work or smart work? Toastmaster Shreyans, hard work or smart work? Thank you for giving me this topic, Toastmaster Kishore. Hard work or smart work? I I remember a story wherein. uh picasso was asked to draw a portrait of a lady it he took around 5 minutes to complete the portrait of the lady and when asked about the compensation he asked around in some 1000 dollars the lady asked that you uh, took hardly 5 minutes how can you charge so much for a simple portrait and he said that it took me around 20 to 30 years to make this portrait in 5 minutes hard work is is a uh, hard work is done by a a person who is not skillful in it and when they ask for the weight on a hourly basis where a smart work on an expertise in a field give you money for your output we all know hard work is a is a key to success but eventually in today's world when we have very limited time here to fulfill uh the objectives which you have given so smart work becomes a necessity so i believe the smart works always prevails over hard work and we should strive uh, for it and that's all from my side over to toast master kishor thank you shreyans so can we have timer report now
You're on silent. Have five speakers. Speaker number one, Toastmaster Rishal, spoke for one minute, 41 seconds. He is qualified. Speaker two, Toastmaster Dhawal, spoke for three minutes and six seconds. He is not qualified. Toastmaster Monica spoke for one minute, 53 seconds. She is qualified. Guest Deepanshu spoke for 40 seconds. He is not qualified. Toastmaster Shreyansh spoke for one minute, 20 seconds. He is qualified for voting. Thank you. So Toastmaster Monica, are the polls ready? Yes, it is ready. Yeah, so you can launch it now. Yeah. The first speaker was Postmaster Rishabh, I think, not Rajiv. Yeah, it is. Uh, my bad. I will correct launch the again. Can I? It's all right. It's all right. Just remember that was Rishabh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Requesting all to vote. We still have five more votes pending. At least one more vote, two more votes. Guests are also welcome to vote for the speaker they found. Quite good. So it's all right. Please vote. All right, Monica, we can end the poll in that case. Let's move ahead. Yeah. Thank you, speakers, and over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Table Topic Master. Like we say, all good things must come to an end. Our interesting and uh, great round of speeches has come to an end. And we will now be going on to the third segment, which is the uh, uh, evaluation segment. For this, I I invite General Evaluator Toastmaster Ashok, who will be conducting this session. Yeah. Good evening. Before you take over the controls, one question to you. Do you have anything to share with us, big thoughts that gave you great happiness in your life? Yeah, I can share one experience, one incident. It was around 10 years back, 10, 10 12 years back, when I had gone to the market for uh, Diwali purchasing, for Diwali for shopping for Diwali festival. And when I was standing uh, in front of a shop, suddenly a small boy came. He was around 8, 10 years old, and he just uh, pulled my shirt and said, uh, Sir, please take my diaz. He was selling diaz. He was selling diaz. Sir, please take my diaz and these bhaktis also. Uh, we, we make this at our home. This is our home business. Uh, he looked to me, he was, was quite I mean, uh, down family or poor family. I just asked his name and I was stunned. Hearing his name, his name was Deepak. Deepak was selling diyas. At uh, I mean, I just uh, went into tears. I thought I should take all the diyas which he has. I just took all the diyas, and then come after coming back to home, I distributed to all my neighbors and all. But the smile or the pleasure which I could see on his face. It was immense satisfying. It is beyond explanation. 
It's beyond explanation. That gave me pleasure. And I still, uh, it's not that I have done something big. No. I just thought I should help him. Because to sell uh, other remaining diyas, he uh, might be roaming for maybe two, three hours more. I just saved his time. So he should also go and celebrate his Diwali, whatever uh, I can support him. So that gave me immense pleasure. As some, someone said here also, pleasure of giving, pleasure of giving that I expressed. And I still cherish those moments, those experiences. Thank you. Lovely sharing. We really enjoyed what you told. And like you said, when uh, Diwali comes, we don't want to just light up our house. We want to light up many houses. So this is what you did. And that's what gave you the pleasure. Thank you. And over to you. I'm handing over the controls to you for uh, conducting the next round of the Thank you. Thank you, Tosna Asak Kasuma, Tosna Asak of the day. Before I say anything, I would just two line introduction of mine. I'm Toastmaster Ashok Gokhale. I'm from Chalk and Duster Toastmaster Club, from where one of our speaker, Danish Soma, also comes. He is my good friend. And I'm a retired person enjoying uh, the post retirement moments with my family and granddaughters and grandsons. So this is. Uh, Basically, I'm a technical person. I work with uh, Gracie Industries or Fadit Tibrila Group, Elmar Retirement. So, good afternoon, everyone. Few weeks back, when I was invited twice to join in the Speakers Community Club meetings by Toastmaster Kalpana and Monica, I remember, but I'm sorry I could not make it then. But when this time, once again, uh, Toastmaster Kalpana again invited me. I thought that I must not miss this opportunity to be with you all, to interact with you all. And so I am here. It's really feeling, feeling exhilarated and awesome feeling and euphoric being with you all. Thanks, Toastmaster Kalpana, for inviting me here. Thank you for accepting the invitation and doing the honors. Thank you. With uh, Tia Monica also, I have interacted in some meetings. She had joined in one of our club meetings, I suppose, or in some contest. With Toastmaster Kusuma also, I had an opportunity to interact uh, while in uh, Kahani contest. Kahani contest, yes. Yeah. So, uh, nice meeting you all again. All of you are awesome guys. Nice to meet you. To the evaluation part now. Let's uh, move to evaluation and here from our evaluators. Why, to whom we evaluate? The speech or the speaker? Speech or the speaker? Any one of you? Both, the speech. <laughs> yeah. It is the speech obviously. that is evaluated. Yes. Obviously, obviously. We evaluate the speech and not the speaker. So if, if some points are coming for improvement or as a challenge, no one should take it otherwise because they do, those points are for self-growth, for self-growth. So with this, I invite our uh, first evaluator, Toastmaster Nirali. She will be evaluating the speech of a speech given by Toastmaster Shubham, who had delivered his L1P2 speech. Toastmaster Nirali, what do you Am I visible, audible? Hello. Yes, you are. Okay, thank yes. you so much. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters, my amicable guest, and uh, especially Toastmaster Shubham. Your speech is the reason behind my Europic mood, I can say. You, st uh, you give commandable starting to your speech. You start with uh, explaining benefit of music. How music heal our bodies. Music helps patients to recover from illness. It is a chemical of pleasure. Music helps us to reduce blood pressure, heart rates, and improve our immunity system. Then you 
and your small personal story how music help you to increase focus on your study you add one question uh, to grab the atten uh, attention of audience and you uh, summarized with uh, the benefits of music again it was amazing flow have you crafted your speech throughout the speech your clarity was up to the mark we can easily able to hear you and uh, uh, we can easily uh, uh, draw the story in our mind you were looking so much confident confident when you are uh, delivering your speech so your comfort level was up to the mark few points uh, i noted which will make your speech to the next level maybe so the first one is angle of your camera when you were uh, speaking uh, you uh, your uh, a uh, camera goes uh, uh, at the down level of uh, your eye it should be at your eye level i can say so you uh, audience can easily uh, run with your story with your eye contact with your hand gesture and uh, uh, with your vocal variety so uh, it was uh, like uh, you were uh, speaking from first floor and uh, we are at ground, ground floor uh, listening to your speech <laughs> so you can make better in that uh i thought personal story was missing you told how music help you to increase focus in your study uh that helps you to path of healing but how uh, what you did with music to improve your focus in your study like uh, in uh, to get fresh up you just listen to the music uh, you listen to music in the background when you are studying uh, what was the reason have you used this music to improve focus so the third one is you can make better in voice modulation your hand gesture and eye contact like you asked one question in the middle does music has healing power something like that uh you can ask something like that you can come closer to the uh, camera you can use your vo voice modulation like does music has healing power what do you think the high low, uh, high note low note of your speech can easily grab the uh, attention of your audience sometimes what happened uh people are in front of you but they uh, were doing Uh, what do in their uh, that uh, their minds so how you can grab uh, their attention so with your vo voice modulation you can easily grab the audience uh, attention of your audience fourth one is time uh, you got 7 minute to express your point express your story you used around 5 uh, five and a half minute so uh, you can use your uh, full time to uh, justice to give justice to your topic so uh, let me sum up you can uh, you are commendable at the clarity of voice your comfort level was up to the mark you used starting of your speech uh, and grab uh, to grab attention of your audience it was really commendable maybe you can improve on your uh, camera angle and some personal story uh to just to give justice to your uh, story you can make better on voice modulation hand gesture and eye contact and maybe you can use time uh, in a better way this is from my end over to you general evaluator yes thank you dr sanjay nadali for a wonderful wonderful evaluation now i invite toshmaster shreyans to evaluate to have his points while evaluating the speech by toshmaster libby he has delivered she had delivered l1 p3 speech thank you toshmaster gokhale i thank you toshmaster ashok gokhale for the opportunity dreams Have we lost him? Yeah, I think we've lost him. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, Shreyas. 
Yeah, he's come. He's come. Back. Williams, are you there? Yeah, he's come back. Yeah, I am here. Uh, can you uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you can go ahead. You are visible, not able to. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, dreams are not the one which you take while you sleep. Dreams the one which you don't let you sleep. A wonderful topic you have to, uh, taken up, uh, Toastmaster Libby. City of dreams or city which never sleeps. It was if, if you're right, to hear so much of information and history about our beloved city. Your content was very well researched and presented in a very well uh, good manner. The presenting uh, the presentation the PPT format help you in communicating your message with clarity and uh, with much detail. A few things which you can uh, use to improve your speech or to take it to, to, uh, to a next level uh, is your structure. Uh, if structure of a speech is ideally an uh, opening, your, uh, then your body parts comes in, like body of the speech comes in, wherein it, it is divided typically into a three, two to three parts, and then your closing statement. You could have uh, worked towards the, the structure and improve upon your timings. I believe that since you were presenting your talk and you were not able to see the timer's card and that's why you uh, elapse your timing before. So you can uh, practice your speech so that it remains a time-bound activity. Furthermore, you have ended with a question and a song and it is a great way to end up a speech and uh, leave, with, uh, leave it with a, with a message. So I was uh, very much thrilled to hear so much about uh, Mumbai and its day-to-day uh, -day struggles, as well as the rich history uh, it has. Over to you, Toastmaster Ashok. Thank you, Toastmaster Shreyans, to both have those points from you. Now it's turn to invite, it's time to invite Toastmaster Satya will be having his points or his views on TM Dhawal's speech, which he delivered as L1, P3. Toastmaster Satya. A couple of days back, as the treasurer of my company, of my Toastmaster's company, I was just uh, uh, renewing the membership of a few of my uh, fellow Toastmasters. And the dollar to Indian rupees exchange rate was 8.8. 82.18. And thinking that number, the second digit after the decimal and connecting it to the title of my target speaker, I was a furic. After all, it's $1 billion. Big, big, very big. That's what I was, I was expecting uh, while uh, I was going to uh, listen to my target speaker. Amazing story uh, lined able to grab the attention throughout the speech, great choice of carefully picked words, Rolls Royce, supermodels, empowerment, self-belief, tantrum, excellent. But yes, uh, good is the enemy of great. I have to give you some recommendations. Two ways I have to uh, evaluate your speech, vocal or IT, and body language first come to vocal variety. When you use the words, the words have 50% of the meaning or 30 or less, you put a lesser percentage, but how you utter the words add a lot of meaning to it. Like when you say 1 billion, oh my God, 1 billion, man. So it's, even if I don't use that man and other words, but still it's 1 billion, it's big man. Second, the thastu can be the thastu. And when you are saying that I was miserable, it should sound like you were miserable. You are tried, but it can be better. Okay. And when similarly, when you are saying happy faces, it should be happy faces, not by words, but by happy faces. Similarly, when um, it comes to your body language, I think uh, I was expecting you to stand and deliver your speech because you could have space to play with. And uh, even if in virtual mode, we can play. We can play 
yeah, you have tried to play with your lips. You are uh, started with a smile and ended with a uh, energetic uh, commitment from all. That's wonderful. But I was expecting that you are standing and delivering a speech rather than sitting and delivering. Great. Uh, I think it's a uh, consider for you. You can uh, take it uh, into consideration. But overall, my praise um, for all the use of great pauses and emphasis. And uh, like uh, you, you uh, use that uh, uh, phrase of word, I feel confident, wonderful. I was very happy that time because it was in line with the purpose of the speech. So to summarize, um, this, you are an artist. Toastmaster Dawal, you are an artist. You are able to keep the, grab the uh, attention and keep the audience hook throughout that seven minutes and some seconds. Uh, and your title and the storyline is totally in line with Think Big Thoughts, but release with small pleasure. I, I really loved it. Uh, I, I hope uh, the, cons the, the insights which uh, I am giving and uh, the insights which are uh, yet to come from uh, Evaluator and uh, the uh, Aha Counter will add a lot of value and you can take your speech to the next level. So thank you. And uh, over to you, General Evaluator, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Satya. Say so how energetic even an evaluation can be. But then this evaluation was also a speech. So it has to be a part of that. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Satya. Nice to have you here. And nice to listen to it. It was a treat. Now, it's time to invite uh, Toastmaster Deepak with evaluation, which he, he has done for TM Swati's speech, level one, project four. Ms. Master Deepak. Good evening, everyone. On the ninth day of Navaratri, we worship, worship Goddess Siddhidatri, the goddess of super power and Siddhis. Our speaker, Swadi Agarwal has that super power, that Siddhi to connect with audience with her eloquent speech. The best thing about Swadi's today's speech is connect with the audience. Simply she connect with the audience by taking Raju's mother's story. The later in the speech, she concluded the, with that the just uh, mother's story that the power every one of us need to possess all these nine navadurgas amazing such a complex topic it might take with the tantrics mysticism all this she makes sure to make it simple and connect with the audience kudos to you swadi and her hand gestures was amazing i would say she assigned particular hand gestures to each and every Navadurgas. Like when she say, the Kalra three destroyer of fear or the compassion of Lord's, goddess Kant mother, the mother feelings. So for each goddess, she have that particular one hand gestures, amazing use of hand gestures. And you are very confident throughout the speech. So I have some suggestions for you. Since this is an online meeting, make sure there is no such all external disturbance. Uh, sometimes what you can, you can close the window so that there will be minimal disturbance so that everyone can hear properly during the initial uh, time. So the conclusion, the conclusion of your speech could have better because you connect with each and every qualities of the, the while during the speeches of the Durgas, nine Durgas. You can say at the end of the conclusion, uh, like the Siddha three, this, uh, this particular quality, the Kalda three, this quality, we have to inculcate all these qualities in our life, excel in our life. The, if you, if you, could have used that kind of conclusion. You actually paved the way for all these things. At the end, if you did this, it would be a superb speech. So as I said, your ability to connect with audience, amazing. 
this make simplify complex this thing it is superb and your hand gesture is superb and you are confident just taking care of this the conclusion and uh, the physical infrastructure you could have take this next level all the best to you swabi thank you Thank you, Trust Master Deepak. Now, see, I'm not taking much time because we have to complete the meeting in time also. I'll not be talking much. So straight away, I'm inviting Trust Master Kalpana to with the evaluation which she has done for Trust Master Danish speech, level three, project two. Trust Master Kalpana. Thank you so much, General Evaluator Ashok. Nothing is impossible. Today, my speaker told us I, apostrophe S, am possible. What has he done in his speech today? He has tried to inspire us, Danish, you did that with for us. Break your goals just like the way we break sentences. Let me tell you, you were creative with your hook statements that had us all engaged. We were glued to your speech when we you made our gray cells think rather <laughs> work out and we had an exercise for answers that you questioned us with. You, your idea of first dreaming and then setting your goals in pieces with consistency really made me rethink some of my goals because I drive it like a nutcase trying to get whatever I can, aiming for quick results, and yes, falling flat on my nose. It really made us think, reflect, and you not just inspired us, you also gave us answers. But how can we take this to the next level? You know your baritone of voice when you just started Danish? Had my hair rise, I was just thinking of, Budget. But yes, you have to have voice modulation. It was monotonous. Let me tell you where you can. You just, you said things like, you know, intense work. There was intense work, show stress in it. 45 minutes to one hour, right? And there are other, uh, you know, when you set the quotes, the quotes also could have been set in a different tone to distinguish it from the normal speeches, like simple, small changes applied over extended period of time. That gives an idea that you are speaking a quote. One thing I would like you to tell is add some props. You could have started off with skipping, exhausted. <laughs> Does this happen with you? Or you release your dumbbells? Ah, hand is aching. I overdid it. That would have been much better. At the end, directly question each and every one of them. What are your goals? Will you, will you, or will you not break them? Please break them. I challenge you to break them. That is how your inspiration speech would have been 360 degree complete. In conclusion, a great speech with your great story. You kept your audience connection. You kept us glued and you gave answers to all of us. Over to you, General Evaluator Ashok. Thank you. Thank you, Tosma Kalpana. A wonderful session of evaluations by all the evaluators, learned, experienced evaluators. In fact, as a speaker, I also, I, in, in fact, every moment is a learning moment for all of us, for all of us. So if, if there are five speakers and uh, per speaker, if two points for improvement are given, so we have 10 points. We have 10 points. And if three of them are common, so we have one plus six, we have seven points. And if I am uh, good in four points, but still remain three, which I need to improve. So it's not only that evaluation is given to one particular speaker only, that whole of the, the whole evaluation session is for every speaker, for every, whenever we get a chance to speak, we should uh, keep all these things in mind. 
where, where, uh, what kind of points were shared, whether it was related to body language or content or body gestures or uh, anything. Okay. So with this, the evolution part is not over because I still have to do something. But before that, but before that, uh, one ought to have a tag report. So may I invite Timer TM Sangeeta with his, uh, uh, with, sorry, with her report, Timer report for evolutions. Thank you, Toastmaster Ashok. I'm Toastmaster Sangeeta Shruti. Uh, timing report for the evaluators. First evaluator, Toastmaster Nirali, spoke for four minutes and 36 seconds. She is not qualified for voting. Toastmaster Shreyan spoke for one minute and 56 seconds. Please note when he had technical difficulty, the clock had been paused. And because there is a grace period of 30 seconds either ways, he is qualified for voting. Toastmaster Satya spoke for three minutes and 42 seconds. He is not qualified. Toastmaster Deepa Kalantan spoke for three minutes and 16 seconds. He is qualified. Toastmaster Kalpana spoke exactly for three minutes. She is qualified. Over to you, General Evaluator. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sangeeta Ashwati. Now it's time to listen something from TM Mithali as our counter role player. TM Mithali. Thank you, General Evaluator. So, Toastmaster Kishu, more than five times Aase, Toastmaster Kusuma, three times, Toastmaster Rishabh, five times, Toastmaster Nirali, more than five times, Toastmaster Libby, <coughs> more than five times, and repeated another and everything word like, Toastmaster Satya, five times, Toastmaster Deepak, three times, and Toastmaster Monica, more than five times, and repeat the I. I Over to you, General Everton. Thank you. Thank you to give that report, Toastmaster Mithali. Now, friends, though uh, English may not be our mother tongue, English may not be our national language, but still, it's a working language for all of us. And uh, in Toastmasters, we speak in English. So it's uh, it becomes important to take care of the grammar, the punctuations in speaking also. Even we should be able to speak the punctuation, even a comma, we should be able to speak. Someone said that uh, just don't speak only the words, but speak the emotions behind that. But that is all supported by the grammar which we use. So our, whatever we speak, it has to be correct in grammar also. So let us hear from our grammarian, Toastmaster Rishabh, what he has to say. Thank you, General Evaluator. Uh, first of all, I'm really euphoric, like everyone used the word of the day, euphoric multiple times. So I'm really glad about it. Thank you for giving small moments in which I can cherish now. Uh, now talking about good users and some uh, good words, uh, like there were good uh, phrases like Kalpana really used car run out of the fuel in a good analogy and you know giving us different meanings of uh, the, the phrase than uh, Eureka movement, prompt and grandeur. But as everything has you know its uh, pros and cons, so there are some you know uh, bad uses of grammar. So <clears throat> we don't use however and but together. Those both are contradictory words, so only use one. And Please try and see like subject verb agreement is the same. Like if you're using a singular subject, have a singular, you know, verb. So like, for example, music release this, not release. Uh, then uh, again, a subject and object, uh, you know, transformation here. So, uh, well, uh, so this intent is uh, get it turned into an action. No, instead use it. Turn it into an action. Make it active rather than passive voice. Mm -hmm. Then usage of this has been, you know, multiple people use this but this is a demonstrative pronoun so according it it's important like when when you are justifying an action a series of events you transform rather than uh, you know saying this you can call it an action or some you know word to it like the phrase something like that uh then didn't lose uh, again uh, there were some uh, slight mistakes on the grammar like didn't never lo uh, uh, lose the pound it's didn't lose any weight or not to pictures, take pictures. So 
uh, that's it that's from my end thank you journal evaluator back to you thank you thank you dear grammarian this master rishab now it comes to me as a general evaluator i should also say something almost everything has been covered by the evaluators themselves but still i would like to say something well begun is half done we say that well begun is half done beginning was given by tosmas kishore as sergeant at arms the energetic opening he gave to the meeting he reiterated the mission the tosmasters then handed over to tosmaster kalpana presiding officer of the day tosmaster kalpana set the tone and context of the meeting she welcomed each and every guest she interacted with them her experience as a toastmaster was quite evident from her address and interaction she had with all and she showed a good gesture when she urged to master uh, table topic master to give a fair chance to the guests so that all guests can participate and can have a taste of what this master impromptu or what this master meeting is so kudos to you to master kalpana and she handed over the stage to this master of the day this master uh, uh, kusuma wow what a start what a start she gave by giving examples car and swimming it it took me also in my past and i could i could recall some moments of happiness or pleasure that's that's good to uh, hear from this master kusuma then uh, she introduced or she said about the segments which uh, which are to be which are to be covered in the meeting the all the segments prepared speakers evolutions he also introduced the counter grammarian time timers all speakers what should i say about them all were awesome and all were awesome and because that was that was uh, i mean a big hand given to all evaluators also them maybe some points are uh, raised but that is quite obvious because uh, life is a learning journey and toastmaster perhaps is the right platform to learn about public speaking skills that is why we all are we all are here so we should, we all should take as i said earlier that uh, we should take all these points for improvement uh, sportingly and use them in our next speeches to take ourselves on the next level for self growth all speakers did well evaluators were excellent were excellent beautifully conducted table talk topic session by tosmas kishor interesting topics and well spoken by all all the guest participants it's not easy even i i uh, when i was giving my first speech when i asked when i was asked to give my first speech i could say only two words thank you and bye bye so and when and when it comes to impromptu it becomes more even more difficult so kudos to all guests who participated well and enjoyed the session Our counter, all the auxiliary role players, our counter, grammarian, and timer, all role players explained their roles very well, excellently, and executed to exquisitely. I would say exquisitely. All role players. Only one thing which I would like to say that uh, evaluators have pointed it out already. It is timing. The meeting was started on time, so our efforts are to end also it in time. nice but what what is the problem it comes in between when someone takes more time then either tmod or some other role player has to readjust or shuffle something to adjust that that time limit but it is for the speakers may maybe i mean i am also not that good speaker but with experience it comes when when uh, we are into various pathways Three to five minutes speech, one to two minutes speech, five to seven minutes speech, six to eight minutes speech. When we rehearse, there is no no other option, no other way than 
rehearsing our speech at least twice, thrice, or maybe 10 times, maybe in front of a mirror also before delivering it. So that we can come to know uh, when we monitor the time where, where, where the content can be reduced. That gives us, uh, gives us a uh, proper idea where we could, where we can adjust our speech to meet the time limit. So only one point I just say, suggest to all speakers, uh, not all speakers, but those who got disqualified because of time, because of they took more time. Overall, everyone did well and did justice to their roles, enjoyed every speech, every topic a lot, even speech topics were also very good. Once again, thank you all for inviting me. Keep in touch. Thank you so much. Best wishes to you all. And before I end my session here, I would like to say a few lines. Two lines for uh, my friend T.M. Shubham. His topic was uh, healing power of music, right? Healing power of music. So I'm also a music lover. So I would just like to say one, two lines only. Sindhi, if you permit me, only two lines. Mano to dua hai sangeet. Mano to dua hai sangeet. Or samjho to dawa hai sangeet. Ki mano to dua hai sangeet. Or samjho to dawa hai sangeet. Or jine ke liye agar zaruri hai hawa. To fir dosto hawa hai sangeet. That is what a power music has. Now, just to give a departing note is... लोग कहते हैं कि फिर मिलेंगे अगर जिंदा रहेंगे तो लोग कहते हैं कि फिर मिलेंगे अगर जिंदा रहेंगे तो मैं कहता हूं कि जिंदा रहेंगे अगर आप और हम यूं ही मिलते रहेंगे तो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच ओवर टू यू सुषमा सो द डे पीएम सुषमा थैंक यू थैंक यू uh, I think we need to have the timer report for the evaluators. Was that done? Uh, yeah, it time. is done. Timer, Sangeeta. It's done. 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 If you want me, I will repeat it. No, no. Okay. Okay. No, it's no. Done. If it's done, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you. So, friend, it's been, uh, friends, it's been a wonderful experience to be the Toastmaster of the day. And this is Toastmaster Kusuma signing off. We had a great Sunday. Enjoy the remaining holiday and prepare yourself for the Monday blues tomorrow. I now hand over the controls to our presiding officer, Toastmaster Kalpana. A huge round of applause to Toastmaster of the Day Kusuma, who taught us about how to simplify life, right? Or enjoy the joys of life. So before the Monday blues hits you, enjoy <laughs> the sunny evenings of Sunday. <laughs> right? Yes. And that reminds me, we will now be announcing winners. But before that, can I ask my Zoom master to launch the poll for the best evaluators? You are on mute. Sorry. Toastmaster Monica, is it done? All right. <laughs> so, is it done? All right. Moving ahead. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Are the certificates ready? We have remaining with the two, two more polls are remaining. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Thank you for reminding me about that. Uh, we will be doing the poll for the role players. Toastmaster Monica, could you just launch the role players?
then all right. Rotate. all right we move on to the next auxiliary role player the best auxiliary role player Right. Uh, we come to an end of the polls, right? We are, I'm not missing out on any poll, right, Monica? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All the polls are done. And uh, uh, Saar Toastmaster Kishore, are the certificates ready? Uh, just a moment, only one right. minute. Yeah, please do so and let me know. In sure. the meantime, one of the guests has joined after the meeting had begun. That is guest Ajay Thakur. Could you just switch on your camera and unmute yourself? Ajay, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Thank yes, you so ma much. And uh, tell me what was your takeaway and actually what did you think about today's meeting? Uh, actually, it was good. This is my second meeting. Yesterday, I joined another session. I'm okay. just, uh, Processing this thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you now have a fair idea, right? Of as ha, to... yeah, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Great. How it works, yeah. Yeah. Good. So do start your Toastmasters journey because here I think as all my members would vouch that we have become like we are under the umbrella of one huge Toastmasters family. Not just our club members, but we affiliate and relate to members who are from other clubs and we stand strong. I think uh, the affinity that exists between Toastmasters itself is a great takeaway. Won't you all agree with me, Toastmasters? The way we come to know each other. So Ajay, do become a part of this huge, large, warm family and uh, join Toastmasters and do begin your learning journey. It is very, very, gratitudinal to be a part of Toastmasters for professional as well as personal development. Okay. And yes, thank you so much for coming and do join us. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yes, Table Topic Master or Sa Kishore with dual role. Yes. Are the certificates ready? Yeah. Okay. Toastmaster Sangeeta, I think you have joined my club for the first time. How did you find it? Okay, I'll come back to the question. I think he's just sharing. The best table topic goes to Toastmaster Shreyans. Can someone, I mean the Zoom master, please highlight him. Do not forget to take a photograph. Congratulations, Toastmaster Shreyans. I think he has left the meeting room. He's he has left the meeting. In that case, let's move on. Toastmaster Monica, do share that with him. The best role player auxiliary goes to Sangeeta. Our time bound. She, I think, has taught, taught us the importance of time and how we have to stay within that parameters, which I find it extremely difficult. <laughs> I think that is one thing I'm really chipping away at myself on and off. Congratulations, Toastmaster Sangeeta, for doing the role so wonderfully. We move on to our next winner. Is the photograph taken, Toastmaster Monica? Great. We move on to the next. The best role player of today is none other than general evaluator, Toastmaster Ashok. Congratulations, Toastmaster Ashok. That was great evaluation of the whole meeting. We now, thank you. Can I say something? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Uh, can you correct this name as Ashok Gokhale? Completely. We will do that. All right. Sure okay. enough. Sure enough. We will do that. Uh, Sarah Kishore, do look into it before sharing the certificates in the role players group. 
Thank oh. you. We now move on to our next winner. Best, oh my God, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, dear members. Thank you so much. Thank you. Toastmaster Monica, you can just highlight me and really, I would really like uh, this particular photo of mine. <laughs> Thanks, Atan. Thank you. Uh, I have evaluated after a long time, I was having my own jitters. So thank you so much. We move on to the next winner. Best speaker is shared by the Toastmaster Swati and Toastmaster. There was a huge round of applause and a huge bouquet of congratulations, word bouquet, verbal bouquet of congratulations to both of you because both of you really had us glued to whatever you were speaking, diverse speeches, but both were powerful and dynamic speeches. Thank you so much for making this meeting that interesting with your speeches. It was like a cherry. Thank you so much. Kindly highlight them and take their photographs. Yeah. Uh, are there anyone left? I don't think so, right? No, no. Yes. Thank you each and every one. With this, I declare the 97th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club a close. Please stay back for networking. Thank you.